Okay. We have had two crisis issues that um, we had to respond to right away. Residents in the Brooklyn Homes community speaking up, saying they need help working through the trauma of Sunday's mass shooting. When there is trauma, whether you live directly in what we call ground zero or you live four blocks over, the impact is real. Trauma is real. Trauma response is important, and that's why. That's why we, we had to be here. Cyrus Newsom, director of outreach and operations with Transformational Health, says they answered the call and were on scene by Sunday afternoon, ready to provide therapy to those impacted. I've been loving the un, um, openness to say I need someone to talk to. I need therapy right now. We've had individuals that were directly impacted that have come in, but then the indirect people, some of the people that are telling us that their children will not leave their homes right now, those people need help. Many in the community still shaken after 30 people were shot and two of them killed during a block party Sunday. She says they've dealt with two crises, provided on the spot care for 10 and signed up more than 100 others for therapy. Newsom says one man came running in asking for help. He was trembling. And the number one thing he kept saying was, I've never experienced anything like this. She says several people coming back to sign up family members, especially children. If I had a child in my home, I would drag them up to this community center to have someone speak to them. Trauma in children, she says, can present in a number of ways, including aggression and not sleeping. It could be acting out. It could be crying. It could be isolation. The fear of leaving their home constantly asking questions like, are we going to be okay? Is it all right? Is, that, is, is the man out there? Are the people out there? Transformational Health tells me they will be out here providing these services as long as the residents here need them. Now, right now, many of the city leaders, including the acting fire chief, acting police commissioner and the mayor, all just left from in front of this community center, heading for a walk down to where that shooting happened. This is all a part of just showing this community that there is support from the rest of Baltimore, that everyone stands with them. Kyrie Stewart will have more on that walk tonight on 11 News at 10 and 11. I'm Janine Donaldson in the Brooklyn community for WBAL TV 11 News.